Roman Empire, this Roman Empire, that. Do you know what my Roman Empire is? What happened on the 29th of September 2014 when Jessica left Girls' Generation? This has been on my mind for way, way too long. I already made a video about it earlier, um, but I, I thought I would make an in-depth in one. What catalyzed it for me was seeing Jessica's announcement that she's planning to come back on the 22nd of November. Five days later, Taeyeon is having a comeback on the 27th of November. And you might be thinking, Casey, why does that matter? Because in K-pop, you promote your album and your song on music shows with other idols that are also promoting at the same time. So Taeyeon and Jessica are going to be promoting at the same time which is going to be the first time we see an interaction between the two of them no matter how frosty it is it's going to be this month so no one really knows what went on between the two girls um but the the rumor is that they had some sort of falling out some sort of fight um and that caused jessica to leave girls generation early um earlier than she was planning to and you might be thinking, Casey, just read the book, read Shine, read Right. You don't think I have? You don't think I, I have read the book? I have read Jessica's book, which is a fictional, fictional account of what happened um, at her time in Girls' Generation. And I have also have the idol profiles, the character profiles from the book here to show you. So this is the character profile of Rachel Kim, this is the main character. This is Jessica's self-insert character, I suppose. Um, and you can see, likes fashion, lines with Jessica having a fashion brand, strong coffee, loyalty. Do you see that down there? Dislikes? Sabotage. And what is more sabotage than coming back at the same time as your enemy? For context, this is like um, if you were a fan of Gravity and BTS decided that they would have a comeback at the same time. You're not getting a look in either way. Taeyeon is on that other level. But back to the character profiles from the book, you can see this is Cho Mina. Um, this is Taeyeon's self-insert character. Um, you can see she likes being the center of attention. Um, Taeyeon is always mainly the center. She's the folk queen. We love her. Um, showing off her excellent dancing skills. Very nice um, compliment. And then her rumored boyfriend and because of the timeline that this takes place in, um, we can assume that this is about um, Baekhyun. So we kind of know from the book what Jessica's side of the story is, that she wanted to start a fashion brand, and SM didn't like it, and the other girls didn't like it, um, and Mina didn't like Jessica from the get-go, or Taeyeon didn't like Jessica from the get-go, sorry, um, and they came to blows, and Jessica was forced to leave the group. But we don't know the full side of the story. That is Jessica's side of the story that we've heard from her statement whenever she left and from the fictional book that she wrote. Um, but there is someone who does know both sides of the story. See if you take a look down here at this song. It says featuring Amber Lou. If you don't know who Amber Lou is, this is her. She was in another SM girl group called FX. Um, also with Jessica's younger sister, Crystal. Um, but Amber has also collabed with Taeyeon on the song Shake That Brass, which, you know, we, we, don't, we don't talk about Shake That Brass, that was question time. What we do know is that Amber and Jessica are friends currently. As you can see, Amber follows Jessica on Instagram. And we also know that Taeyeon and Amber were friends at one point. Uh, Amber doesn't follow Taeyeon anymore on Instagram either. And what do we know about Amber? Is that she loves to run her mouth. So much so that it sparked this hilarious meme. So you might be thinking, well, well what's your plan to get Amber to tell the information? Well, I will tell you. We know she loves to chat on podcasts and you know she loves to let things slip that um, maybe she shouldn't say. And she seems to know these people, and if you've been into K-pop for a while, you probably recognize some of these faces, particularly these, you know, him, her, and him. So what I'm suggesting is that we get Amber on the Get Real podcast 
surround her with her friends, make her feel comfortable, having a good laugh, having a good time. Then we get this man, who we know has no filter, to ask the question, Amber, what do you know happened between Taeyeon and Jessica on the 29th of September, 2014? And I will be able to sleep happy at night knowing that I know the answer to that question that has been plaguing my mind since that date.